Hello Scorpio, welcome to a you and them love reading and let's just j jump into the reading. Spirits, angels, guides. What's going on for Scorpio and love? We're going to look at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other and what can you expect for Scorpio. Let's start with what's going on in your connection. As always Scorpio, this is a general love reading. So will not resonate with everyone 100%. So just please take what resonates for you, for your situation, and uh, discard the rest. You can check out your playlist. I have a whole playlist just for Scorpio readings, and it'll be linked in the description box. Spirit, what's going on in this connection between Scorpio and their person? What do we need to know between Scorpio and their person? Okay, wow, we have the Queen of Cups. What's going on for Scorpio in love? What's going on in this connection? Five of Swords, yikes. Bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Cups. So I feel like there's a lot of love in this partnership, but also something else. <laughs> there's something else. There's, there's some sort of unfair situation here, perhaps arguments or conflict. We'll see what this is about. Let's start with this Five of Swords. Spirit, why is the Five of Swords here? Ten of Cups. Why is this Five of Swords here? Two, okay. Eight of Swords. Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's something going on here. The Ten of Cups, it's almost like a distraction. I feel like um, the Ten of Cups is perhaps how this appears on the outside. But I feel like there's something inward that's that's an issue here with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands. There may be a lack of trust or a distance between you and this person. Maybe someone's too in their head uh, or fearful. Uh, maybe they feel stuck, like they should defend themselves. But I wonder why. I feel like, you know, some of you could be in a family situation with this person. I just split the deck and there's a Ten of Pentacles. So there could be a long-term commitment involved here. Or perhaps things, you know, and there's the Two of Cups again with the Ten of Pentacles. So perhaps this is a very strong connection otherwise, except for this other situation here. Can I get some clarity on this Eight of Swords and Nine of Wands? Two of Wands. Hmm. Can I get one more please for this Eight of Swords? Nine of Wands. I don't feel like picking a card. Eight of Pentacles. So this is someone that knows they have to choose a path here. They have to work on something. Put an effort, energy into something. Perhaps they haven't or can't. What's this uh, Two of Wands about with the Eight of Pentacles? What's going on here? What's this about? Yeah, this is about either communication or movement. Bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Swords. There's fear here. And this is both of your energy. So this could be you, Scorpio, or your person. So there's something that someone needs to do, that someone needs to address. Yeah, King of Swords. This is about communication. So hmm, what's with this Queen of Cups then? What's going on here with this Queen of Cups? Queen of Wands. Hmm. King of Wands. Again, I get the sense of like a partnership. Um, there is emotion here, feelings here within a partnership. But I'm also picking up, some of you could be dealing with a third party situation that's interrupting a good thing. We'll see. 
But I feel like this King of Swords with this Eight of Wands, this is communication. Can I get some more about the Eight of Wands and the King of Swords? The Sun, this is about bringing clarity. What else? And Two of Swords. So there's an, there's an undecided energy. Why? Four of Cups. So someone's afraid of making the wrong choice here. Yeah, this is about communicating something, but there's fear. There's so, okay, so one of you in this connection needs to say something or choose something. And there's fear, there's, in, there's an indecision about that because I feel like there's something that someone wants. I have the Six of Wands here and then again, the Nine of Swords. So it's almost like someone's afraid of not having success. Okay, let's move on to you, both of your energies. See if I can get a little more insight into what's going on with both of you. I'm going to be using a deck for you, Scorpio, and a deck for your person. So you both will have your own deck. So let's see. Let's get some energy cards out here. Sorry, tell me more for Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio and their person. Tell me about their energies in this connection. Let's start with you, Scorpio. Can you tell me about Scorpio spirit? Can you tell me about Scorpio? Past life, memories, past life, nostalgia. You've had a connection with this person in the past. Okay, tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing with. Flooding romance. Can I get one more? new love romance courtship there's definitely love here i just don't know what the problem is yeah difficult decision this is someone that needs to make a decision but i'm not sure yet what it is i feel like whatever decision this is they need to be honest with themselves i have the king of swords and knight of swords here but i'm not sure what this decision is about exactly all i know is that there's fear this could be about love you know fearful of making the wrong decision in terms of a partner. Um, I want to use this stick. So we'll see. Let's start with you, Scorpio. Let's get some insight into what's going on with you. Now, Scorpio, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more. Tell me more for Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? What is Scorpio thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection or this person? Five of Cups. So there's something here with the past, Scorpio. Past regrets, missing someone from the past, thinking of the past, being disappointed because of something that happened in the past. We have the Hierophant. Taurus energy and then the four of swords at the bottom of the deck so there's a lot of thinking here and something with a commitment or um, maybe some um, not sure what this hierophant is about there's the eight of wands again hmm let's look at this hierophant tell me about this hierophant spirit what's this hierophant about for Scorpio ace of pentacles so It's almost like you wish you had had an, excuse me, an offer or an opportunity here for commitment. And there's the Five of Swords again. Something happened. Something happened. And I don't know if it was like you initiated it or someone else initiated it or this, this connection I feel had a lot of love. But now there's regret, disappointment. Someone wasn't playing fair. There could have been deception here or some sort of loss for pentacles. Yeah, now there's this guarded energy. Four of wands. Tell me about this five of cups. One of you could be married. I have the higher font, ace of pentacles and the four of wands. There's the knight of swords. Can I get one more for the five of cups? Eight of swords again. We're getting the same energies here. 
I get one more for the Five of Cups. It's like, the, Scorpio, you might be wanting to talk to the past here or have something to do with the past. I have the Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles here. But there's fear. There's fear um, of communicating something or fear of acting on something. And I feel like this would lead to something new with the Ace of Wands. Can I get some insight into this Five of Swords? Oops. Can I get some insight into this Five of Swords, please? The Magician. Here one more for this Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here for Scorpio? Nine of Wands again. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Five of Wands. Yeah, there's something here. Keeps coming up. There's conflict or drama or a situation where someone wasn't trustworthy or um, lost someone's trust. And I feel like there's ambiguity here. Like there's like a, a generalness here specifically because I feel like it's different for all of you. Like this was something that hurt you or affected you differently you know and i think there's now this eight of swords and nine of wands there's a fear of either accepting an offer or communicating with someone because of what already has taken place here maybe even because someone doesn't want to start drama what's this ace of wands about we have two aces here what's this ace of wands about Seven of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Yeah, there's a the resistance. Because there's doubt. The moon, bottom of the deck. Pisces energy. There's an unknown here. That's why someone is so guarded. And so it's like almost like someone doesn't know how something's going to play out. Or what the response will be. Maybe they think they're going to get rejected. There was a Four of Cups here. Um, here. Four of Cups. The Knight of Cups. The Page of Pentacles after that with the Tower. So this could be something that you don't expect. You don't see coming. Or perhaps, you know, someone here is coming back after a Tower. To maybe apologize start something new we'll see if that's your person we'll look at their energies let's look at your person tell me about scorpio's person but i think this is a very complicated situation this isn't a black and white situation i can sense that i mean there's a reason why someone's so guarded something must have happened here can I get some insight into how this person's thinking or feeling about Scorpio? Okay, we have I want you. Can I get one more? I regret what happened. Okay, so something happened here. Something happened in the past between you and this person. I can tell you that much. Can I get some insight into this person, please? The Scorpio is dealing with spirit. I know they have a difficult decision to make as well. And for some reason, this decision involves you or has something to do with you. Can I get some insight into this person? Can I get some insight into this person? The Scorpio is dealing with Sagittarius, ruled by Jupiter, and peaceful, calm, and balanced. So right away, I'm thinking of the Temperance card because in this particular deck, when you pick up a card, um, you can also interpret it as the Tarot Major Arcana for the sign. So for Sagittarius, that is the Temperance card. And then I have the Peaceful, Calm, and Balanced card that came with it. So I'm instantly thinking of Temperance. And I'll be surprised or, I'll, you know, or I wouldn't be surprised if Temperance shows up for your person here when I pull the Tarot for them. So we'll see. Um... Let's use this deck. Let's see what your person's thinking or feeling. I feel like your person might be wanting to rebalance the situation here. We'll see. Because they're, they're having regrets and they have a decision to make. 
I feel like this has something to do with communication. I have the Knight of Swords that came out twice here. Let me get some insight into... Oops. This person that Scorpio is dealing with. Can I get some insight into this person that Scorpio is dealing with, Spirit? We have the Three of Cups. What can you tell me about this person? You have the Two of Wands. Again, the Two of Wands came out. I think it came out here. In this deck. Or in the... I'm sorry, not in this. Well, obviously, yes, this deck. But in this scenario between both of you. Oh, my God, the Tower. Tower came out here. This has some... I feel like your person could be the one that... Is either in a commitment or this tower has something to do with a commitment. I have the Ten of Pentacles here at the top and at the bottom the Queen of Swords. We'll see. Three of Cups. I mean there could be someone else here. The world. Can you get some insight into this Two of Wands? This Two of Wands is really what really um, I feel is the main Mm, driving force here. Can I get some insight into this Two of Wands? What's this Two of Wands about? Nope. What's this Two of Wands about? The Hierophant again. Taurus energy. What's this Two of Wands about? Page of Wands. Communication. Making a move of some sort. Can I get some insight into this Two of Wands? The star, I believe this is. No, this is the moon. Sometimes I think of the star because of the... So the moon is coming out on both your side and their side. Pisces energy. So this decision, I feel there's doubt or confusion or an unknown here. Tell me about the moon. Why is there, what's still going on with the moon here? The magician. So someone is acting in secret or making a move in secret here. Oh, the fool and the five of pentacles. Yeah, there's someone, your person I feel is thinking about whatever path this is that they're choosing. They're manifesting something in secret. And then here I have the two of cups in the top. Oops. And the strength card in the bottom. This is about taking a risk here with the fool. I feel like someone is taking a risk because right now they're out in the cold. Maybe there's not a lot of communication between you and this person. There's some sort of surprise here with the tower. And I feel like this is going to affect more than one person. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Got death. Holy shit. Sorry for my language. <laughs> Sorry about that, Scorpio. You showed up to your own reading here, but when I see the tower and the death card, this is a complete transformation, complete turnaround. Nothing is the same after this. Okay? These two cards together, nothing is the same after this. Something completely changes or ends. Could be a breakup of some sort or a cycle that ends for someone completely. Or just a huge, shocking tower. Can I get some insight into this tower, please? Okay, this is the Queen of Wands. Can I get some insight into this tower? Five of Cups. Can I get one more for this tower? Wow, death and the tower. The Empress. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Swords. Yes. There's some sort of ending here. Some sort of breakthrough someone's having. The Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords. An ending that leads to a beginning. And it has something to do with the past here. But it's, it's almost like this tower had to happen in order for there to be a new beginning of some sort. With the Fool, the, the Magician, 
So in order to manifest something here, this person has a difficult decision to make about the path ahead. And that has to do with you. And it, it, this decision is also difficult because it's going to bring about a complete change in their life. So where is all of this headed? Where is all of this headed? So whatever's coming here, it's going to be initiated by your person. Flip it if it resonates for you. But they're going through a huge transformation. Um, and I feel like it's not going to be easy. Someone's going to be disappointed. I have two fives here. So let's see what's going to happen next. I'm going to pick a couple cards here. What's next for this connection spirit? What's next? What's next for this connection? We have the Page of Wands. What's next for this connection? This is your person's energy. The Page of Wands came out here as well on your person's side. What's next? Nine of Swords. Again, that same energy of there being fear, anxiety, stress here. What's next for this connection between Scorpio and this person? The Queen of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups again. So whatever choice this is, I feel like there's going to be someone disappointed or someone having difficulty with it. Um, or this decision has something to do with the past, you know, a past regret, a past mistake. Um, something that's missing, you know, and someone needs to make a choice about it. And whatever choice they're, they're doing is like they're thinking with logic and um, it's, it's, it's almost like a choice that is, is made with clarity. Ace of Swords here, um, a choice based off of information, a choice based, based off of communication, something like that. Communication is very important here. You have the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords came out. Um, so I think there's going to be some sort of contact here, um, but there's fear. Can I get one more for this Queen of Pentacles? I just want to get a clarifier before I close this out. Wow, Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is about love. And there's fear here. Either whoever is extending this cup of love, whoever's opening up, and expressing their feelings, um, there's fear behind that. Um, if it resonated for you, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you um, and interact with you all down there in the comments. Thank you to everyone who takes the time to leave kind comments that does not go unnoticed. I really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you all in another video very soon. Take care.